I got my coffee. It don't matter. Why not? Why not? Entertainment. Um, part of history. Uh, two worlds come together. Two warriors come together. Thanks, Kelly. And it's the biggest money probably in history. So why not? Yeah. I'm gonna You feel like in any way you were baited into this fight by the way? Well. Yeah, I asked him. About I'll, 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 in there, but I'll ask him. Uh, it's crazy that um, I'm not a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of all contest sports. You know, I don't watch much of them, but when it is on TV and somebody, when someone comes over my home, come over my, you know, come over my home and turns MMA on, I don't say, I'll turn the TV. I, I watch, you know, I be moving around a little bit, but I, I watch, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's one fighter, it's a black fighter that be fighting. He's from St. Louis. It's an MMA fighter. What's his name? Tyron Woodley. He can fight. His ass can fight. And you know, um, he's one of the best, but uh, he's one of the best. But it takes a lot to be at the top. One thing about Conor McGregor, he's gonna, he's gonna talk a lot of, he's gonna talk a lot of trash. He's also gonna back it up. So you gotta be able to articulate well. You know, you have to have. You get the gap, you have to have a certain look, you have to have a certain aura, you have to have a certain swag. You know, you can have another fighter that's 33 and 0 with 33 knockouts. You say, well, Floyd, uh, why he, why ain't he getting Floyd Mayweather pay things? I said, well, what's his name? He said, well, we don't know, we just know he's undefeated. I said, well, I'm not just undefeated. You know, you know, I'm an icon in the sport, I'm a legend in the sport, a living legend in the sport. And and I have, you have to take your hat off to the legendary champions that paved the way for you to be where you're at. I'm a Ben's Fitness so, Magazine. It's so it takes a lot, question. you know, to, to get to this level. Fitness Magazine? No, he's used to getting kicked, punched, choked, the whole thing. Because of that, do you feel like this is your toughest opponent because of the pain or what you can take in the day job? I can't really say. But I know he's going to come out and fight his ass off. He's going to fight hard. And that's what it's about. I'm going to fight in the heart. And, um... It's gonna be a nice, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting knockdown, drag out fight. So you're gonna have fans from all walks okay. of life. You have fans from all walks of life. Right in Come and see. Yeah. Yep. Two warriors. Thank you. Come yeah. Where's your camera? He's right behind you. So, what can you tell your fans and tell them why they should turn it on August 26th? Fans, we're just getting started. This has been. The first press conference. It was crazy. Over 11,000 fans showed up. Just with the numbers today, we're on a record of making the Mayweather Fairgrounds. Uh, paper and shoes, what? numbers. Um, but, you know, I'm just blessed to even hold the record for all three of the pay per view uh, records that's been the to top three pay per view boxing records. It's held by myself, so I'm, I'm blessed. I want to tell the, the boxing fans and the MMA fans from around the world, thank you. Sorry, so you already know all your fans but, it's, but a lot of fans expect for him to win also. You know, you can never overlook anyone. You see, Pacquiao just overlooked the guy in Australia and came up short. So, you know, I'm not going to overlook him. Can you promise his fans anything? Tell him what he I promise you guys you should come out. Well, I can't promise you guys, but you guys should come out uh, to Las Vegas and have fun. You know, uh, the Mayweather McGregor weekend. Unbelievable. Uh, gambling, um, shows on strip, but also come to the girl collection. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you. What do you think this fight means to Watson as a whole? It means a lot to the MMA world and to the boxing world. Playing the fans together. You, you can't say that. Oh no, I'm an MMA fan, but but say I never, I've never been a boxing fan because everything started with boxing first. But um, the UFC and the MMA is born, and it's a great thing. So what does this fight mean to your legacy? That means, I mean, it's part of history. You know, it's a part of history. You know, when you 
when, like I said, when I was, spoke to someone earlier, when we long gone, they pull us up, they're gonna show this interview, they're gonna show you, they're gonna show all the fans, all the people. And the people were like, damn, that was crazy back then. But by this time, it's gonna be fighters making, you know, even, it's gonna be fighters probably making a billion dollars for a fight. So here's one. Inquiring minds wanna know, do we have a big walkout plan? Can you give us a hand? Mm -hmm. No. August 26th. It's wide open. My pay per view right now. And yes, we have the most expensive fight tickets in the world. But it's worth it. Y'all got the money, spend it. If y'all got something, get in touch with my team. I'm going to spend money on y'all brand also. That's right. The money team. That's right. Last question. Right here. So, uh, I thought he were done with the okay. <laughs> Mayweather, one question. Right here. How many rounds do you think he's going to last? Because I see, you know, he's a different fighter than you. So I know you don't knock him out, buddy. How many rounds do you think he's going to last? With them tactics so that MMA fight. Mm -hmm. Conor McGregor is a good player. Okay. Let me ask you. So you all going to ask on you? Do you all going to estimate him? I don't estimate You know you knock him out quick. Thank right you, here. Mayweather. Right here. Yahoo Sports coming to you live. This is Kevin Ioli. With Come Floyd Mayweather? With Floyd Mayweather, and I've been doing this with Kevin for like, I don't know how many years. 1996? Yes, 1996, 21 years. Yahoo Sports, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have the Mayweather-McGregor fight. Today was the first press conference. We're live in L.A. at the Staples Center. Don't miss it. Talk to me, Kevin. Okay, well, we will talk to you because you have a strange hat on. 48, and you're going for your 50th win. What is the 48? Well, number 48 was the biggest fight in boxing history. This was iconic, like a close friend of mine would say. My friend Mac would say, right here, it was iconic. But, you, you know, this was a $300 million fight for me, you know? And of course, my, one of my favorite shows was First 48. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, will you go get a 50 if you win this one? Oh, we're going to play that. You know, I think 50 is on a pace right now of breaking the Mayweather Pacquiao. You know, so we got to we have to keep the 48 over here, and put the 50 over here, mm -hmm. and put the, put the line down the middle. Connor just said in the other room that uh, if Floyd doesn't disrespect me or doesn't uh, take my name in vain, then I'll be good. But if he doesn't, I won't follow the Marcus and Queensberry rules, and I might drop an elbow on his head, what would, or choke choke you out. What do you think of that? I mean, you know, um, <laughs> if he wants to get an eight-figure fine, then that's on him. My job is to follow the rules and do what I have to do. I mean, if you feel like, if Conor McGregor feel, feels like he was the A side,